Uh, now, we always have a bit of fun on the match t uh, table, or the practice table, as it is, our match table. Um, what are we going to show the people at home, Jimmy, today? Well, we're going to try and explain what Ryan done with the cue ball there. Just We're going to show it like uh, some cue ball control around the black spot. OK. So this is just what we were talking about before. It's just being able to knock balls in. And you really want to get the white, I imagine, within maybe six to eight inches of the object ball. The Absolutely. You, you know, you don't... When you... When you OK, this is exaggerated. They're all in a line. But when you're, when you're like... You've got the balls nice like Ryan Day had. You don't want to be moving the cue ball. You don't want to be hitting the cushion. You don't want to be bouncing. You've just got to try and get the right angle on the black to get the right angle on the red and keep going. And then. when you guys are practicing, this is called the lineup, and you continue this with reds, and you do red, black, red, black. As yeah, we do. You know, you try and do it in sequence if you're playing well. So. But okay. basically, just start with the black. And you're playing it with a little bit of screw? A little bit of screw. And it's all about touch. Now, have you overhit that? Slightly, but okay. I've got the cam cue. But, you know, I'm on, on this red here. I'm just going to pop this red, get a nice angle on the black. I should point out as well that it is difficult for Jimmy to use this cue because the camera's halfway down. Speak that's, for yourself, Andy. <laughs> I'm just making excuses you see, I've come, for you. I've come the wrong side there, but you can just... So you're playing it with stuff, and then there, you come yeah. around. It would have gone to that, that side, to me, yeah. Sort of, sort of lost the white there a little bit, which you shouldn't have done. And the idea, of course, is just to stay in and around that black spot. Yeah, he, and you don't want to stay straight on the black, do you? You want the no, angle. No, you, you want to get the angle. You see how Ryan Day there, he didn't move there for five or six shots. He was just all around the black spot. You know, it's called cubal control. OK. I, I mentioned earlier, Jim, that when a lot of players are playing in their club, they overhit the ball, they strike it harder. Part of that is down to the fact that these tables are so much quicker. Is that fair than the club tables? Yeah, we, we, you know, we, we're playing on faster, faster cloths. Yeah, the club tables, you have to hit them a little bit harder. I've sort of lost the cue ball a bit here, but... What, um, what other lineups do you do? If people are watching at home, they, they like this and they want to do well, more you can, break building? You, we, we're going to show, you can do the T lineup, but basically this is a very good lineup. Just put five reds between the pink and black and try, and, um, try and not hit the cushions, just using stun and screw with the black. OK, and... Uh, just tell us where you're hitting the ball. This is so you hit low anyway, don't yeah, you? Yeah, this is just. Uh... See, I should point out to people at home that Jimmy actually addresses the ball badly, don't you? No, Andy. No, you've told me that, Jim. Come on. Yeah, but I tell you anything, Andy. <laughs> but you no, do. I do. Don't I you? hit the bottom of the cue ball all the time. It's a bad habit, but it's um. So you always, you're always. Can I ask you then, if you're always striking, just just cue up so people at home can see it. Okay, so you always cue up here, even if you're don't play it yet. But even if you're going to play the ball with a stun, I hit it in the middle. You will still cue up at the bottom. Won't I you? start off there and then I come up the cue ball, which is a very bad habit. But when me and um, we used to just like to play with a lot of bottom. Right, we try and get this a bit more in control. Okay, I'll tell you what to do. Let's we'll, we'll finish up with you doing four reds and blacks, all okay. right, and talk us through it. Okay. Right, so we're just going to stun this red in, try and get an angle on the black. Stun the black in. So the angle gives you the opportunity to come back up for the reds. See, so you're only tapping them, aren't you? Yeah, you're just trying to keep close control. Obviously, this is the cam cue that we love, but sometimes it can be a bit awkward. OK, again, nice angle. Look at that. That's is that too much? You're no, going to come my side, that's OK. You? Then just stun up for one of the two reds. Well, that's, see, you, you, literally, it's such a gentle tap, isn't it? 